Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome to this video. I wouldn't say today's because there's already one out there, but this video of World War II, as you can see, we're in the headquarters right now, but this isn't the purpose of the video. Today's purpose, as you can see on the title, is for the weapon variants in World War II. We're going to have a look at the available weapon variants, which I'm surprised about. you have got quite a lot out there already. Um, so we're going to go straight into it and I'm going to show you how to get to them so you can see them. So on the bottom right of the screen, as you can see, it says supply drops. You're going to press R2 and then you can see your supply drops, etc. Um, I've got a zombie supply drop and a normal supply drop ready. So I'll probably open them later. You want to go to the far right to the little soldier and press X to go to the quartermaster. As you can see, there's contracts and collections. I might make another video on contracts and explain them later. You've also got collections. Now, it doesn't say weapon variants, but it basically is weapon variants. So, at the top it says, uh, all the gear you, you have and wish you had, so it actually is. And these are all the guns that you have as well. There's actually 31 different guns in the game, so... Actually, I think some of these here are actually a uh, thing. Yeah, look, it's actually uniforms as well. So, not all of them are guns, to be fair. So, we've got the SVT-40, there is about... Eight, there's eight variants it says it there of course uh, and obviously the best one oh you because obviously these are collections if you want to get all of these as a collection you will get a collection reward which is epic this one's called the shack man uh roundabout epic they're all epics basically so we're going to be trying to get these of course obviously fill up our collections and get really good things out of it because it's going to be really good you also get xp as you can see on the top left of the like card where it says shack man it says xp so you're going to get loads of xp as well uh it's a shame oh yeah you can select it and go and have a look so that you can buy them that's a gold it, it looks gold so uh as you can see on the top right is our currency i've got 100 right there i think you earn these during the game um so we obviously can buy them so that's 175 for example uh so it's going to be very hard we can buy them which is a good thing it's like in infinite, infinite warfare how you can buy things of salvage in fact i think that is salvage but from infinite warfare and on the top right is keys to buy a supply drop uh cod points aren't actually in the game at the minute because they didn't come in at the very start but people who pre-order it should get 1200 so uh, i should get that to be fair when it comes out because i pre-ordered so the Lee Enfield is obviously a well obviously Lee Enfield but yeah it's uh I know that I've heard that gun before I just can't remember where it's from um the grease gun candy oh that looks pretty cool that gun not gonna lie um and obviously it gives you calling cards and things as well I reckon it can give you camos you can buy camos oh sick look hubba bubba kill night free die says hubba bubba so there's actually things that you can say in the game I think I think it would say voice there'll be voice names and stuff so the amount of stuff that they have in the game currently at the very start of the game is very good i'm not going to lie and to be fair the game itself is very good with all the content it has like from the immediate get-go because obviously this is the first day so it is pretty good I'm not going to lie and the bazooka this is a uh, rocket launcher imagine that look at that that's so good US Medic. I honestly don't know what that is because it doesn't say anything. Maybe it's just the outfit. I'm not sure. So all the cheapest ones are pistols, obviously. They're camos, actually. I'm pretty sure. At first of all, they were like different guns, but I just noticed that they're the same gun, but it's different camo. Look. I don't know why there's only camos for pistols, though, and no other guns. I have got enough credits. Oh yeah, there you are. It doesn't, oh yeah, so it is, that is just a uh, thing. So there's even variants for obviously thing then. What's it called? The uh, uniform that people wear, which is pretty good. So um, yeah, you can actually change your look as well as your guns. So this one's called Trigger Happy. Uh, Happy. Look, Soviet Naval Infantry. So this is for the Russia, I think. Soviet Union, pretty sure. Not too sure though. Um, Habba Baba. But yeah, it's decent, not gonna lie. And then the Epic Wharf. So in total, that's gonna cost about 3,000, which is cheaper than Infinite Warfare, I think, because you have to buy all of them. And then Infinite Warfare, the Epics costed 4,000 salvage, so it's not too bad, really. Um, except things like this, they're gonna be very expensive because look, 8,900 salvage plus that. So that's gonna cost about 11,000. 11, 
11. 11,000 salvage in total. So it all depends on the gun, really. I mean, that gun must be OP as fuck. So if you want to get in there, go for it. Look, some, like, most of them cost 89,000. 8,900, so... Um, what does that look like? Oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I really want that. That looks really nice. Um, but yeah, that, that's most of them, really. Well, not most of them, but I'm not going to uh, show you. Look, that's bad quality, to be fair. Obviously, it's loading in, but that actually does look like a good, good gun. But, um, of course, I want you to see loads of it yourself as well. Uh, because thing, look, the Wonder Wolf. That's pretty good. That'd be good for zombies. Um, the US Shovel. That'd be good for in-game. So we can actually test it out. Um, toggle action. But yeah, there's, that's pretty much it. There's loads of other stuff. I just want you to go through it with yourself. Unless, of course, you want me to go through all of them, which I will in a much longer video and explain them all. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, one more thing. On the right, so you know how there's them eight different cards on the right? So on the bottom two, I think they must be common because like there's no gold uh, design around the edges. Then the two on the left will be rare because they've just got gold lines. And on the top two, the top two right, sorry, they'll be legendary because it's just got a bit better golden thing. And on the top two left, I mean the first, the first two that I just said were the top two right for legendary and the top two left will be epic because look how good that card looks so that's what i'm thinking at the minute and of course they will release more cards in the future i'm guessing but yeah that's pretty much it for game ver for gun variants so yeah of course if you want me to make another video on gun variants then just put it in the comments um and yeah thanks for watching make sure you stay tuned to the channel to subscribe so you can see more world war 2 videos i'll also be doing a road to prestige live stream so yeah if you want to watch out for that then watch out